Hello friends, welcome to Simple Makeatronics. Our today's project is Arduino Mega Based Omni Robot Part 1, making the base with four direction movements with clockwise and anti-clockwise rotations. The two wheels are assembled together using six bolts and nuts with a spacer in between. The three long bolts out of six bolts are not comfortable in our project. So the three long bolts are removed as shown. So each long bolt is removed one by one as shown. Then replaced with a new screw and nut having suitable length. Then tighten the screw as shown. Similarly, replace the remaining two long bolts with the suitable screws. Now the Omni wheel is ready. Four such wheels are used in our project. This is the bipolar stepper motor with four wire connector is used in our project. Select the required stepper motor based on the torque requirement. Then use a suitable motor bracket to suit the fixing holes of the stepper motor. The bracket shall have holes to fix on the required surface. Plan to fix the stepper motor in the bracket comfortably using four screws. While fixing the Omni wheel on the motor shaft, a heavy gap is observed around the shaft. To overcome the problem, a suitable sleeve is required. The sleeve should fit in the Omni wheel with a through hole for motor shaft. Here, a perpendicular threaded hole is made on the periphery of the sleeve to lock with a grub screw as shown. Now, mark the position of the grub screw on the shaft. Then, make a small cut on the shaft carefully as shown here. Now, position the sleeve on the shaft carefully so that the threaded hole matches the slot on the shaft. Then, tighten the grub screw. This will lock the sleeve on the shaft in all directions. Now, position the Omni wheel on the sleeve as shown. Then, use suitable disc washers and a bolt to lock the Omni wheel with the sleeve as shown. Now, the motor with Omni wheel assembly is ready. For power supply, lithium ion phosphate cells are used in our project. The 6000 mAh lithium ion phosphate cells are more safer and more compact than lithium ion cells. Here, three lithium ion phosphate cells are used in our project. The three cells are connected in series to get about 10 volts DC. So, the three cells are soldered using wires to get series connection. Here, all the three positive terminals and negative terminal of the first cell are connected to a connector block. You may check the voltages at connector block using a voltmeter. Use a suitable container to hold the three cells. Then, the four wire connections are made available through a hole in the container. Here, a supporting plate with four holes and long screws are used for holding the container. Now, orientation of the four stepper motors with brackets are planned as shown. And, planning the four omni wheels on four sides on four motor shafts. Using this method, the omni wheel can be moved in any direction as shown. Then, a thick helium sheet is cut to plan size which is used as base of the omni robo. The plan paper is sticked to the helium sheet as shown. Then, make required holes as per the plan. Care and accuracy are required while making holes on the hilum sheet. Then, plan to position an Arduino Mega board on the hilum sheet as shown. The position of holes of Arduino Mega board are marked on a paper for convenience. Then, drill the holes accordingly as shown. Here, use countersunk headed M3 screws of suitable length to fix the Arduino Mega board. The six screws are held in position using six nuts as shown. Now, check the screw holes to position the Arduino Mega board properly. The four sets of screws with nuts for each motor bracket are fixed below the base plate. When a stepper motor bracket is placed below the base plate, it should move up and down freely as shown. Here, a soft sponge or four springs shall be placed in between the base plate and the bracket. This arrangement makes that the load is distributed evenly on the four motors. 
and the four omni wheels touch the ground always. Now cut the sponge for four motor brackets to the required size. Then assemble four brackets below the base plate and fix the four stepper motors as shown here. Then assemble the four omni wheels also as shown. Now the base plate can move any direction and also rotate in any direction easily. Here Arduino side is assumed as back, opposite is front side and these are right and left sides. You may observe that the base plate can tilt in any direction due to the sponges or springs used while assembling the four motor brackets. Now fix the battery pack below the base plate and between the stepper motors as shown. The battery pack shall be held in position using the thin plate with four long screws. The battery connector is also fixed to the base plate. A good four pin connector is required for connecting to the battery terminals for charging facility using a mating connector. The mating connector is fixed to a supporting plate with a slotted hole. Also use a good quality switch to control the power supply. The four pins shall be connected to the four terminals of the battery pack. Fix the supporting plate also below the base plate as shown using small screws and nuts. Now connect positive and negative power supply wires of 10 volts battery to a connector as convenience. Also, connect an LED with a series resistor about 5K as power indicator. Now, fix the Arduino Mega board as shown earlier. Then insert 4 stepper motor controller CNC shield for Arduino above the Arduino Mega board, carefully matching the pins. The DC jack gets the power supply from the connector. Whereas, for four stepper motors, either buck converter module or boost converter module shall be used to match the voltage of the motors. The motor power supply is connected to CNC shield through the module. The stepper driver of 4988 modules are used here, which have onboard current limiting adjustment facility. Now, insert stepper driver of 4988 modules, one by one, in their respective sockets carefully. Then, stick the heat sinks on the A4988 modules, as shown. Then, stick one more heat sink on the bug booster module also, if not present. Now, connect USB cable to the Arduino Mega board for programming. Then, open Arduino IDE and load OmniRobo1.ino. Then, click on Tools menu. Then, select Arduino Mega Board and Arduino Port. Then, compile the sketch. Finally, upload to Arduino Mega Board. Here, the main loop have testing commands like move forward, move backward, move left, move right, rotate right, and rotate left. Now, connect one end of the four stepper motor cables to four stepper motor terminals as shown. Then, connect other ends of four stepper motor cables to four connectors on the Arduino shield carefully. Here, care should be taken to connect correct cable to correct terminal as well as direction. After some trial and errors, the cable connections shall be finalized with the power on. Now, the main loop code shall be executed. That is, Omni Robo moves forward, moves backward, moves right, moves left, rotates right, and rotates left continuously. Please press like button if you like this video. Subscribe Simple Makeatronics for access to more projects. And share with your friends about Simple Makeatronics. In the part 2, the Omni Robo is controlled by Arduino Joystick Shield. 
for charging the lithium ion phosphate cells in series the project links are available in the description below thanks for watching the video more explanation and circuits are available at simple mechatronics website links for other projects are available at description below bye friends see you in the next video